Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we are gonna be talking about our Cub Cadet and how to change the oil in it. Uh, this is a Cub Cadet 2018 model, uh, three stage, 30 inch. It is an absolute beast. Got your third stage there in the middle section. Uh, absolute beast, thing throws like 50 foot. Snow like 50 foot. Anyway, we're gonna talk about how to change the oil because that is important maintenance for everybody to know to regularly change your oil. So, on your snow blower on the very back, close to where you would stand, down in here, this right here is where your oil drains. Get my camera in place. It takes a 10 millimeter socket. I've already loosened it. Shouldn't have, but you want it good and tight. I've already loosened it ahead of time just to save some time. We're gonna unscrew it and we're gonna give it a chance to drain. I like to tilt it back just a little bit make it come out just a little faster. We've got our protein 2O water. <laughs> I guess being the... And we're just gonna wait a minute to give it a chance to... give it a chance to drain. This is one of the only maintenance items that are just absolutely required for your snow blower is to have that oil be fresh because it sat all summer long, all spring, all summer, all fall, and any gunk that is inside that has already gone to the bottom, and uh, it's, it's just vital to your engine to have the oil replaced. So we'll give this just a minute to drain out and we'll go back with you. All right, so now all my oil is drained out. I'm gonna take my plug and screw it back in. There's a, you wanna get this tight, so you go back to your 10 millimeter socket. Flip that around the other way. It's tightening, get it tight. You do not wanna have an oil leak if you're, you wanna make sure that plug is tight. If you get an oil leak, then you are going to ruin the engine. Here's my oil, used oil. Very dark in color. However, it's not horrible. That's because I regularly change the oil. So it is not horrible, but it was ready to be changed. Get some fresh in for the season. All right, so now that I've got all the oil out, um, I've already taken my dipstick out, put in a little funnel because I have uh, the shaky hands. I can't seem to ever Get it, get it in without spilling it. So we're gonna put a quart and a half of 5W30. I'm using synthetic oil. Um, it's just a blend from Arnold Motor Supply. Um, it's just synthetic blend, SAE 5W30. And uh, it calls for one and a half quarts to go into the machine. So while this is, we're getting this one cord in, another thing of preventative maintenance in the springtime when I'm putting it away for winter being over, I let all of the gas, I turn it on and run all the gas out. That way you stop yourself from having carburetor problems come in the fall, closer to winter. Um, that way you don't have any gas in the tank to go bad and uh, it'll burn out all of, all of the gas in the carburetor. And that is another form of preventive maintenance that I do. You know, even if you have a full tank of gas, it's all of, you know, $1.20 worth of gas and $1.20 to not have carburetor problems is well worth it. So I'm gonna go either uh, 1400 milliliters or 56 ounces um, would be what it's calling for. 
for a quart and a half. So I'm at 500, need to get down to 400. And that's perfect. And uh, this is something that is super duper easy. Anyone can do it. All it is is a screw in the back and some patience. Uh, get, you know, to, to let the oil drip out, get all the gunk out of it, all that dirty oil, and then just fill the new and make sure you double check your dipstick. Give it a few minutes to settle in and then check your dipstick to make sure that it's on the on the high side or the low side. You may need to add a little bit. Um, it may just be you don't want to overfill it either. Um, but if you t stay right around that quart and a half, you know, if you wanted to go a quart and then start checking, um, you can do that as well. And just adding just a little bit until you get right to right to high, you know, that's not a big deal. So, um, yep, there it is right at the high mark, just perfect. So just about a quart and a half, yeah, it might be a little bit on the high side of high. Um, that's not going to hurt it, but uh, you may like it just on the lower part of the H. And so you would maybe uh, not add as much, check it, and then add a little bit more. Uh, but hey, uh, you've changed your oil. We've talked about the carburetor and burning out all the gas. Uh, you should be set for the winter, and this thing's an absolute beast. If you're looking at getting a three-stage uh, Cub Cadet, this is three-stage 30-inch. It's a monster. This thing will throw things 50 foot, 50 foot far. Your neighbor, your neighbors won't dig on you too much if you uh, have a really close driveway from your driveway to the neighbor's driveway. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate you subscribing, and uh, hopefully this helped to. Uh, make you a little more able to change the oil on your own. I appreciate it. Have a good day.